If you're wondering why I do so many videos about rum, well, it's because I have a disproportionate amount of rum in my collection. So if you don't like rum, I'm sorry. For the rest of you, strap in, because later on I'm going to share my secrets on how to make one of the best rum drinks you'll ever have. This is Cadenhead's Green Label. Cadenhead's, like our friend Alexander Murray, doesn't distill any product. Rather, they buy juice from other distillers and sell it under their own label. The only thing they disclose is that it is produce of the Caribbean. There is no age statement, no country of origin, and no added sugar, which makes it right up my alley. Very big nose. Lots of tropical fruit flavors and a pleasant alcohol burn. I never thought of alcohol burn as something that would be pleasant, but... Oh man, that's good. It's been a while since I've had this, I forgot how good it is. Lots of guava, banana, very slight passion fruit. If you drink a lot of rum, the best way I can think of to describe the flavor would be two-thirds Eldorado, one-third Smith & Cross. Because it's definitely got those funky notes. Yeah, this is spectacular stuff. Would I like to know where exactly this is from? Of course, but when rum is this good, there's only one thing to do. I know this would make an amazing daiquiri, but this is one of those rums that I think can stand up to something tougher. The rum old-fashioned. What follows are the three things you need to make the best rum old-fashioned possible. First, quality rum. Good rums can come from anywhere, but I'm partial to rums from Barbados, Jamaica, or Guiana. Aged rums are also good, but be warned. If there's a number on the bottle masquerading as an age, like Cask 21 or something like that, move on. That's marketing bullshit. I mean, maybe it isn't, I don't know, just read the fine print. Second, the sweetener. Instead of using a sugar cube or simple syrup, use cane syrup, which is made by reducing sugar cane juice. The difference is slight, but worth it. Last, garnish. Rather than use citrus peel, grate nutmeg instead. Trust me on this. Here's what building that looks like. To a couple hits of ango, add one quarter ounce of cane syrup. Be careful not to overdo it. Add your rum, ice, and stir. Finish with grated nutmeg. Cheers. Until you've had a rum old-fashioned made really well, you don't know just how good they are. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg on rum, just get something good and try this. You owe it to yourself. Yeah, this rum's delicious, and it's gone forever. You may have had a hundred whiskey old-fashions, but until you have one with a quality rum, it's a different drink, believe me. If you liked it, hit like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, follow the advice of professionals, and your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to get a bottle of quality rum and make yourself this drink. You earned it.